right, this tale of tape brought to you by Modelo, especially all brewed with a fighting spirit since 1925. Chris Weidman, 34. Shockade Souza will be 39 in December. Weidman, the taller man by one inch. We'll see if he can maximize what is a six inch edge in reach. All right, now for the introductions for this co-main event. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the co-main event of the evening. Sponsored by Motel 6. When you're ready to tap out, book online at motel6.com. We'll leave the light on for you. And now, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record. 25 wins, six losses, one no contest. He stands. Six feet one is tall, weighing in at 185 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, presenting the former Strike Force middleweight champion and the number five ranked middleweight contender in the world, Ronaldo Jacare. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record. 14 wins, three losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 186 pounds. Fighting out of Baldwin, New York, presenting the former UFC middleweight champion and the number three ranked middleweight contender in the world. The All-American, Chris Weidman. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Here we go. Just touch gloves, guys, real quick. Back to Luciana Andrade getting us started for round one. I think I'm hearing USA chants from the New York crowd here tonight. Chris Wadman was to rematch Luke right, Rockhold so here tonight. Right, Rockhold out due to injury in steps. Another top contender, Jacare Souza. Tonight's fight clock brought to you by Modelo Especial, brewed with a fighting spirit since 1925. Souza in yellow, Chris Wadman is in black. Jacare immediately stalking Chris Wadman, controlling the center of the octagon with a low stance. Yeah. Nice little one one two there from Chris. Ooh. Nice stick there by Weidman. Jacare's coaches feel like his hands have looked as good as ever during this last training camp. He's got to be careful though, the way he just pulled out of that exchange. He pulled straight back with his hands down and Jacare threw a big overhand and it missed. But that's something you got to watch out for. You don't want to just slide back with no defense with a guy who throws bombs like Jacare. And there's that right hand you were just talking about. Yeah, he, he might not have the most finesse. He might not have the craziest technique when it comes to his kickboxing, but Chakare will wind up and crack you with it. And he's so strong. And not just, look at that. Look at that. Even yeah. grappling, but just every aspect of his game. His power and his kicks, his punches. And as you said earlier, his squeeze must be out of this world. Some good feints there from Weidman. I like that. He's trying to keep him guessing, not over committing. Weidman trying to stick that jab. Big right hand from Souza fails to land. And the question for me is, is Weidman going to avoid kicking? He doesn't want to go to the ground with Jacare. Most likely he wants to stand up, but if he goes to the ground, he wants to be the one that initiates where it right. happens. Yeah, he wants to be on top yeah, if he's he does, down there. Does not want to have that guy on his. You mean on top of him, crushing him. 469 day layoff for Chris Weidman ends tonight, the longest of his 10 year career. Nice. Nice combination. Oh, oh big right to Weidman early. He stung him with that right hand. Beautiful combination by Weidman. Now, Chris being smart here. When you hurt a guy like Jacques Ray, if somebody as experienced as him, you see that he's stunned. If you rush in, you know his first instinct is going to be to throw the biggest punch or the biggest counter you can find. 
And Chris saw that. Ooh, nice little liver shot there from Jacare. And now Souza over the top. It's getting hot in here. Yep. They're mixing it up. And what do we have? We got ourselves a kickboxing match between two of the world's, possibly the, some of the greatest grapplers in the UFC. Nice, nice. nice kick by Jacques Array. Good counter from Chris. Yeah, beautiful counter. Wow. Wow, that's a loud USA. <laughs> The Souza corner imploring him to move forward and close the distance. Wyman lands partially with the left hand. He I does. like the head movement of Souza. Yes. Much more head movement than we're usually seeing from him. You're right, and his new coaches, James Taylor, Julian Williams, Fusion XL performance in Orlando. They don't get a lot of credit, but those guys have been there a long time. They know what they're doing. Jacare needs to hide that kick better. He needs to put it behind some hands. Because Weidman's just not there for it. Yeah, I mean, we, have, we haven't even seen a takedown attempt from either guy yet, Joe. No. And we, this is what we thought would happen. Yeah. We thought it would play out mostly on the feet. But so far, Chris does look sharp. His hands do look good. Jacques Ray, though, avoiding most of it, high guard, and moving his head at the same time. And there's oh. that straight right again. Yeah, he snuck that one through. Oh. One minute to go in round one. Blood coming out of the nose of Jacques Array. And Weidman mixing it up. Going yeah. to the body with that jab as well. Oh. Oh. That's a hard leg kick. Immediately welted that leg. Unless that was from the first one he landed in the fight. Ooh. Swing so, and a so miss. Yeah, loads up, nothing doing. Wideman jab on point. Oh, nasty liver shot again by Shock Ray. He's doing a great job. Oh, again. Oh, they both got rocked there. Souza now busted up, under 30 seconds to go in the round. Yeah, his nose is really bleeding heavy now. But I think that woke him up a little bit. I think now he's, he knows maybe he's getting a little behind on the scorecards, landing these jabs from Chris Wideman. But Chris stalking him here. He's looking for that straight right again. That's why he's throwing that wide slapping hook. Final seconds of the round here. Weidman seemed unfazed by the body shots that landed from Souza. Both guys had their moments five minutes down. See that slapping hook? And he comes around with that one. So there he used a big slapping hook to the right hand over the top. Another overhand right, but Jacare, nice knee here, misses, but comes back with a right hook over the top. That's where they both cracked each other at the same exact time. Yeah, 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 without that hook. This is like a is kickboxing match they broke out. That hook for us, and just keep hit or move, that's it. One or the other, hit or fucking move. And you got leg kicks too, and what about that little fake uppercut, you know? Especially when he comes to the body, shoot that fucking uppercut. Any of your body shots hurt you? That's it, we're good to go, baby. We're good to go, you look great, man. Your crowd, your fucking night. Just keep the win, breathe. Ray Longo. Breathe, come on, same thing. The UFC 230 Cormier versus Lewis, presented by Modelo Especial, brewed with a fighting spirit since 1925. Ray Longo, Matt Sarah, keeping it simple for Chris Weidman. But everything has worked off of that jab for Wadman here tonight. We'll see the extent to which Souza has recovered. Nice leg kick by Wadman. And that was what Ray Longo called for after round one. Oh, Jock Ray with the right hand over the top, but Chris is getting in with that jab again. Sharp. His hands look sharp. Sharp and good movement. Yeah, he's not staying there right. for the counter. Because you know Jacques Ray is going to come back with a big right hand or a big leg kick. He's throwing his... Oh, check, check, check that, that one. one. Yeah, we know what happens when Chris Weidman can check a leg kick, as <laughs> we've seen before. Oh, I was waiting for that, Joe. I was going to say, the way he's throwing that left hook, a lot of times you either have a couple options. That straight right, right down the pipe, 
but he can slap and throw that big, almost like that Conor McGregor uppercut. Oh, right uppercut. Jacques Ray is trying to turn this into a brawl. He's like, enough of this technical striking. Nice left hook to the body by Jacques Ray. That's what he's got to do. He's got to start making this ugly to stay in this fight. Oh, Ooh, hard leg kick. He's brawling now, Joe. He really is. Ooh. He's going for it. That right hand got Weidman's attention. Now another one for good measure. But good defense there from Chris. Good front kick up the middle by Jacques Ray. Oh, oh that one he rolled with that. It landed, but he's doing it. Oh, another nasty left to the body by Jacques Ray. Right hand over the top again. They're exchanging knees. Nice. He lands there for Sasha. hurt him? No, he shook it off. Two. No takedown. I'm surprised Jacare hasn't even tried to take yeah. the fight down. Crazy. Two of the very best in the world just... Oh! oh. Woo! Jacare got hurt by that. He's hurt. Yeah, he He's hurt. That. Chris smells that blood. He's stalking him. That leg kick would be there for Chris right now, too. Good head oh. movement there by Chris. No, just barely missed that knee. Chakra keeps going to that left to the body. And look at the right side of Chris Weidman's body. Woo! Oh! Whoa. Leather being landed on both sides here as we approach the midpoint of round two. Man, Chakra like a zombie in there, and he's just marching through all this. Some swelling around his right eye, bleeding out of the nose. Yeah, he's bleeding pretty good, John. He's got his mouth wide open now, too. He can't breathe out of his nose, which makes him more susceptible to getting knocked out. Yeah, that nose is broken. Yeah, it's smashed at this point. Oh, he but he's still oh. fighting, man. Uppercut now to the body. Jacare mixing up the strikes beautifully here. And he's spinning him around as he's throwing that left hook. Woo. Chris slowed a little bit, huh? Yeah, you know, health has been a big part of the narrative with Weidman. He said he didn't miss a day of training for this camp, and that has not always been the case. Yeah, Jacare cannot breathe out of that nose, it looks like, whatsoever. Chris has got to go back to that. Start using that jab more. I, said, I mean, I did expect it when we said it was going to become a kickboxing match, but I thought at least maybe a takedown attempt. Well, and I think Sozo was expectant that Weidman would try to take him down because that's what he's done to every UFC opponent, but... No I would think yet. not, though. I would think that Weidman would be the one who wouldn't want it on the ground. Because he's got the defense. Yeah. He's the one that can keep it on the feet. Right. And and he's the one that would be at the worst position if Jacare got on top of it. And even if Jacare's on the bottom, he's nasty. I mean, and Weidman respects that. He, he, he comes from a jiu-jitsu background. He understands. All right, how about some Ray Longo and Matt Sir? The head kick after that. Yes! Yes, Chris! Yes! Yes, Chris! Nice, Chris! Take your time, Chris! Chris, look to put him down! Take your time! Under a minute. Chris, 45 seconds! Let's look to put him down! Block his knee and drive him down! Matt Sarah calling for the takedown from Weidman as we come up on 30 seconds in round two. And a blatant fence grab there. Yeah, clearly grabbing the fence there. He's got his hands locked. He gets him down. Jacare rolls. Jacare on top. Wow. Sosa loaded up on that right hand, just missed. How about this co-main event? What a fight. Yeah. I'm going to switch this with five rounds. The unauthorized reproduction or distribution of this copyrighted work is illegal and punishable under law. And here we see Jacques Array with a right hand, catches Chris on the forehead. And there's a nasty oh. left hand to the body, and he raked the body with several of those. And Weidman with Beautiful. a nice right hand over the guard. Souza with a right hand. Rock em, sock em, robots hey, hey, at the highest the level. Down, take it, okay? And the kicks are working beautifful, okay? I don't want you backing up no more. You Forward. press me, you win this fight, okay? You gotta keep this left hand up. We need a dominant finish this, this, uh, this round, okay? We left need one. Up. Stand up, Dr. Ray. Get up. Five minutes of hell. 
Longo calling for five minutes of hell. The third and final round. Both fighters have landed 51 significant strikes unofficially. Jacare Souza, Chris Weidman. As we said off the top, a lot of mutual respect between these two combatants. No overstating the importance of these five minutes in terms of the landscape of this UFC middleweight division. That nose is really bothering Jacare. You saw him in there yeah. trying to clear Ooh, it out. Ooh, nasty leg kick right there. And again, Matt Serra asking Ooh, for the takedown. Beautiful kick from the body by Weidman, a right hand by Weidman. Man, I'll tell you, Chris, oh, that get with that body shot. Head movement from Jacare. Oh, again with the leg kick. What a fight. Oh, Man. nice right hand. Oh! oh. Sosa with a nice string of strikes here to begin round three. You know, and I think that really speaks to Jacare's cardio. He can't breathe out of his nose whatsoever right now, and he is pressuring forward and slinging. Imagine how good he could look if he could breathe. Knee up the middle by Weidman. Oh, man. Weidman's hands have oh. never looked sharper. No, I, he looks great. And, and he's he's got a body on him today because Jacare has tested it. He has thrown that left dig to the body like 20 times. Nice uppercut there by Weidman. Oh! That's his bread and butter. I like that. I love that little double right hand to set things up. That's one of my favorite things. Just touch, touch, and you follow up with your left. Let's see if Chris tries to utilize that at all. Flying knee. He's, he's rolling yeah, with that he's right rolling hand. with the punches. I mean, it, his head looks like it's getting snapped back. He's definitely getting hit, but he's relaxed enough, and he's had enough sparring and striking now that he's rolling with punches more instead of just taking him and stiffening up. Under three minutes now to go. Jacare likes that front kick up the middle. Yeah. And that, that'll take a lot out of your sails. And it's not like a teep, not like a Muay Thai. He has a karate oh, taekwondo yeah. style. Yeah, he's snapping it in there. Oh! Man, he's a savage in there today. Oh, Look at that again. kick to the body. The oh! oh! Big right. And now back to the body goes Soho. Oh, no! Oh, is down! Dan Rigliotta has yet to stop the fight. Souza stops striking. Oh, no, he's not. Jacare Souza knocks out Chris Weidman. That's crazy. Jacare tried to say stop the fight. Dan said it's not stopped yet. And he hit him again. And it clearly, oh. Jacare was correct there. In a career full of big wins, you can argue none bigger than that one for Ronaldo Jacare Souza. Wow. What a fight. And wow. Paul, this is literally exactly we what you were saying. We just talked about that. Exactly. Anything could happen at any moment, and something just did. He got caught with a big shot, he got dropped and stopped. I mean, you literally, know. in a fight where, I mean, that's as close a fight as you're ever going to see. Wow. This replay brought to you by Nemiroff, bold character since 1872. Unbelievable. Such a crazy sport. And here it comes. Right Bing. on the temple. Right on the temple, and he's, his leg Almost just, delayed, right? Yeah. His legs completely gave out, and Jacques Ray pleads with the referee to stop it. Look. And you could see when Chris is, look at this, man. Yeah, his eyes rolled back in his head, and Jacques Ray says, come on, man. He's too don't tough for his own good. Again. You let him hit him, what, four, four more and, times? And look, he's, and he's hitting him completely defenseless. Chris doesn't even know what's going on. Let's see this again. Boom! His legs just shut off. He lays there, his eyes are rolled back. Yeah. And, and, and Jacques Ray says, come on, man, this is over. Props. Props to Jacques Ray. He didn't even want to have to put those shots in. He didn't even want to land those extra ones. He knew it was over. And you understand, given and Dan the stakes, didn't help it out there at all. Right. Wow. But for Jacare Souza, right, and 
major strides made when it comes to his striking, the head movement, which you and Joe both referenced. He looked great. He broke his nose early. Other than that, it'd be curious how much closer that fight could have been up until that last, you know, fantastic moment there from Jacare. But he did. He, he, he invested in body shots, which ultimately paid off for him in the end because he dug to the body, dug to the body, dug to the body. But what's he finished with? Over the top. The official decision brought to you by Metro by T-Mobile. Get unlimited high-speed data all month long on the same network as T-Mobile. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliato has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 46 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by TKO, Ronaldo Jacare Sosa. I'm here with the winner, Jacare Sosa. First of all, congratulations on uh, uh, Trista amazing victory in a truly spectacular fight. It looked like your nose was possibly broken early in the fight and you were having a hard time breathing out of it. How big of a factor was that? Parabéns por uma performance maravilhosa. Parecia que seu nariz estava quebrado. Como estava difícil respirar pelo nariz. Ah, uh, thanks God. First of all, thanks God. Um, my nose is not broken because I was born on the wrong side of the track and my nose no, my nose is not broke. And I want to say I love, I love Chris. He's a great guy. He's a hero. He's a legend in this sport. I love him. I follow him on his social media. Uh, he's a great guy. He's a great person. Uh, I know he's uh, here is his hometown. I'm so bad about him. But I you guys really love this guy because he's the best in the world. You, Jacare, you, you showed that respect for Chris Reidman. When you dropped him, you did not want to hit him again. You wanted the referee to stop the fight. Were you surprised the referee did not? Você parou de bater quando o, o juiz ainda deixou você continuar. Você mesmo parou de bater para não machucar mais ele. Com uma mostra muito clássica. O que, que você mostra? It's a sport, man. It's a sport. It's the more hard sports in the world. The, we need to respect, respect each other. Everybody like when, uh, when me and Chris we did their face off. Very a lot of respect, but this side of the octagon is a war. I come to win, he come to win. Uh, it's a real fight. Jacare, when you get two of the best grapplers in the world together like you two, you never know what kind of fight is going to take place, whether it's going to be a grappling or a striking fight. It turned out to be an all-out striking war. Is that what you anticipated? Quando a gente bota dois dos melhores grapes do mundo junto, a gente acha que vai ser uma luta de grape. Aconteceu, foi uma luta de striking. É era esse seu plano? Ah, isso é me mei, isso é me mei. JT work my hands. I work my hands on, on in Fusion Excel Academy. The guys push me up every day, and I come to do my best. Uh, it's fight. I come to win, he come to win too. Congratulations on an incredible victory. Thank you. Jacare Souza, ladies and gentlemen. And that man is going to be hard. Thank you so much. He will be hard to deny a title shot.